वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो योर आई विल टेल यू वेयर माई स्टूडेंट्स गॉट स्टक यू नो योर वेरी स्मार्टली थिंग्स कैन गेट वेरी वेरी ट्रिकी इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इट सेल्फ इफ यू गेट दिस स्टेप करेक्ट देन एवरी थिंग इज वेरी ईजी बट इफ यू कांट देन यू हैव टू लिटरली स्टार्ट और एक्चुअली स्टार्ट योर क्वेश्चन अगेन ओके सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट हैपन सी योर वॉट हैपन्स इज normally people will think that okay let's do this let's let's just try and write 9 as nothing but what 10 minus 1 we'll keep 10 as it is and then we'll keep 11 as 10 plus 1 okay then it is 12 into 12 plus 1 so what happens in this case is that you do this they start clubbing this a 10 minus 1 Into ten minus ten plus one. It looks like what a minus b into a plus b. That is basically what a square minus b square. So what happens over here is it becomes like ten square minus one. The whole multiplied and you club ten and ten into twelve. That gets you one twenty plus one. Okay. So this then becomes what hundred. So you just have hundred minus one into one twenty plus one. So then when you you know open this bracket, this looks like what twelve thousand minus one twenty plus one. Now the problem over here, what happens is, see this putting this particular value in the form of a minus b the whole square looks very very tricky. Okay, so your people got stuck, and after doing the subtraction and everything, still answer the finding the square root of such a big number becomes tricky. So here, what I would suggest is, whenever you have something like this, okay, and you end up at such this some which looks something very tricky to find the square root. In that case, I would suggest that you actually start go back and start again, because you know even if you go back and start again, you will not waste that much of time. So here, what should you should you should do is you club what nine and twelve that gets you what one zero eight into then you have what eleven into ten that gets you what one one zero plus one. Now, if you look closely between these two, there is one number which is one zero nine, and I can write one zero eight as nothing but what one zero nine minus one and one zero nine plus one. As your one one zero, and then you have plus one. So now this again is in the form of what a minus b into a plus b. Okay, again here we'll use that expansion, and that gets you what one zero nine square minus one square plus one. So this eventually then becomes I will say square root of one zero nine square minus one plus one. So this and this gets cancelled. You are then left with what one zero nine square, and then if you look closely, the square root and the square will get cancelled. So final answer for this particular question is just one zero nine. See, you can literally save a lot of time by actually doing the first step very very right, but not necessarily every time the first step goes right. Okay, so in such a case, you can go back and try it the other way round. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.